Hello, welcome to April's Challenges. I am going to be starting over here on the left hand side with the new save file. It says create a new one or add this to an existing. I'm going to be creating a new one. Now, I filmed the zombie slash graveyard one already and I thought, well, I should say, I thought I filmed it, I created it, and it was not filmed. So I'm going to walk you through the house that I made, the church that I made for this sim. And I guess this is where I tell you my intention is not to play the people in this save file, like using the 100 days of creativity, 100 day creativity challenge. My plan is to use them as to create a bunch of different kinds of townies in this world and then I will have a family that will play in this world once I have created it. So I have the blank world. Here is what Strangerville looks like. And so if you saw in the video, the intro video, I said somebody suggested that Strangerville already has zombies so that's where we should put it. So I put her right up here. Meet Robin zombie. We'll see her a little bit more, but she is obsessed with nectar maker, being a nectar maker, and we're not going to question what things she may put in the nectar that she wants to drink. She hates children, including the way they taste. <laughs> She's a loner and a slob, and she lives here in this rundown church with a cemetery to the side. So let's go in and I will show you a tour of the place. Okay, from the outside, this is the whole build. I wanted it to look like there were like broken stones around the building part, but I didn't do a very good job of getting like run down and broken stone on the actual building. And also, let's not talk about the roofs. Like, don't look too closely at it because I didn't know what to do. It looks like a roof, like, fell on the top of it right here. And I didn't know how to do any of the rest of this. Let's just, let's just, let's just not focus on it. Let's come all the way down here to the cemetery. I used the basic cemetery layout right here that someone else had already created in one of the rooms and I changed it up. They had it in a completely different layout. So I moved everything around. I added in more of the like dead grass and the other things. I added this out here just because I thought if we had a fire going, it would look cool around here. I added in a bunch of debug items, this log, these logs over here. I even raised this log up so that it looks like it's sitting on these other logs. And then I just put some dead trees around and more dead grass and that is the little cemetery area I didn't intend for there to only be six people buried or no wait there's more than that four seven people and then this thing so I didn't intend for there to only be seven people but that's how it worked out okay that looks better because now they're all up against the side so anyway now let's look at the actual building. So you come up the stairs right here and I put the entrance right here. I should have put it right here, but I didn't really have a lot of space, like a lot of options. Once the cemetery took up so much of the area, I didn't have a lot of area for other things. So anyway, oh, and I see here that's supposed to be on the fence and I somehow have it growing out of nowhere. Do I have any more of those? Okay, I don't think so. So you come up the stairs right here. This is an open area right here when you first come in. And right now it's empty. It's got this marble stairs right beside us. Let me zoom out a little bit. So when you come in, you just have this open area. I don't know what to put here. I've not decorated any of this, except you can see I have one piece of furniture in here and that is all. Then the stairs go up and turn. So you can see there's still the marble stairs and it goes up and it turns. And then at the top, whoops, at the top, we have the ladder that goes on up outside. But in here, we just have another space that has nothing. And I don't know what to put. It also has a giant hole where you can fall down the stairs, so be careful. Then we go up the ladder to this top. And this is the where you can see everything that's up here out on the top. There's an opening right here, not a door, just a doorway. 
And inside is the bed where Robin Zombie sleeps. That's it. That is all I have. I don't love it because I feel like it definitely is missing some stuff on the build part. I love the cemetery. I think the cemetery looks cool. It definitely could have been smaller and then have a larger area for a house. But I was kind of thinking that Robin came in and moved into this place. She's not going to bring stuff with her. But she does need to be able to like cook and she does really want to make the nectar stuff. So I need a way for her to be able to do that as well. So this anyway is Robin's place and yeah, that is what I have for her house. Now, I think I'm going to do the same thing with the second house. So let me show you. I'm going to be making a sim of any age, then save and copy that sim and change the age. So I'm going to have a toddler, a child, a teen, a young adult, an adult, and an elder based on the same sim. Then I'm going to make a house and give everybody their own room to match their hair and clothing style and that kind of stuff. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is the child and the toddler are going to share a room or the child and the teen. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to put like a line down the middle and we're going to do half the room for the toddler and half the room for the child. I think that'll be cool. And then whatever the trait is that they get for teen, I'm definitely going to randomize by the way. And I'm going to start out with a toddler. I'm going to make a toddler sim and that's the one I'm going to use. And then as they grow up, we'll find out what they're going to look like. And I'll do that part with you guys. But I think for building the house, I'm going to build the house and then take you on a tour of it after I'm finished. I think that will be the easiest way for me to build and be able to take my time and maybe watch some YouTube videos or listen to some music and not feel stressed out that I've got to do it exactly right and not make too many decisions and not twirl the screen around too many times to make people dizzy and all of that stuff. So we have done half of this side over here. I made my zombie person, which I will show you her in the cast before I go and make my new person. So let's go and do that. All right, well, I just loaded in. I'm going to change him all around and get him looking like exactly like I want, I do not want the dark hair. I think I'm going to go with, I don't know, this color hair maybe. Anyway, I will get him all situated the way, I think I'm going to randomize. One, two, three. There we go. There's his skin tone. Oh, I accidentally made him red. I changed his face shape and it changed his skin color. Okay, so let me go back and pick a face. Okay, there's a random face and then I'm going to just... Maybe change a couple of things about his face. His eyes are so large. I did not do anything to his eyes. Anyway, let me give him... Oh, I don't want his head to be big like that. Well, no. Okay, I'm going to do randomized for their name. So this is Aiden Francis. And that is what his name is going to be at every age. Also, he's fussy. So this is what he looks like at as a toddler for his everyday clothes. I'm going to go put the rest of his clothes on him, and then we will see what he looks like as a child. All right, here's toddler Aiden. I love his little formal wear. I tried to keep with the green and yellow theme for all of his clothing, and there he is all ready to go. So I have no idea how I do this. Add a sim. I don't know how I copy him. And add him. Maybe I use genetics? There are no other siblings in this household? I don't know how we copy him. Add a sim from the gallery. Do I have to put him in the gallery maybe? All right, let me do that. This might not work if you don't have access to the gallery. Somebody just told me the other day that their uh, software makes it where they can't. Let's see. Where they there they have something. I want to merge these households together. Yes. Oh, now I have two of them. Okay. So what is the household relationship? We're just gonna say they're all brothers. I guess I don't know what to say. What else to say? And he is a child. There is Aiden Francis, the child. Nice. I'm gonna fix his hair and get his clothes and see what his things are that he likes, and then we will start from there or go from there. 
Okay, here is child Aiden Francis. He, I, I randomized his likes and dislikes, and he does not like the color yellow anymore. I thought that was interesting. So we leaned into the green a little bit more, and then I added in some other accent colors to kind of go with the green. And red or purple is what I was thinking about going into his next age, but we'll see what he gets when he's a teen. Okay, here is Aiden as a teen. Marabou. Grosh. Wow, his nose is very large, and his eyes are back to being really big. They weren't that big when he was a child. All right, let's see what we have. Randomized traits. Childish and gloomy. All right, here is Aiden as a teen. So he decided I decided to give him live fast since he got gloomy and childish and he dislikes white and brown so yes this shirt is mostly white but we went all out for his prom outfit I just tried to think about like him not really caring about a lot of what he looks like because he's childish but also, he likes to have fun because he's childish. So, anything that was fun, that looked fun, I went with that. So, now we get to do Aiden, the young adult. Oh, wow. All right, let's see his... Oh, he hates children. He's materialistic and a maker. So, maybe he is in his era where he does not want to have any children and he just wants to work. He's a maker and materialistic. We're going to give him the master maker thing then because he really wants to just focus on work as an adult. Okay, here is our young adult who is just focused on making things and not having time for anything else. So we just went, I just went with the very first, like the easiest, if he was going to go rent a tux for an event, this is what he would do. And then just the easiest clothes on the rest of them. Because he's focused on making and earning things and having things in his house. He's not, oh, I meant to take this hat off. I do not like it. Okay. So, anyway, like I said, just the basics. The only thing we got this time was that he doesn't like blue. Or, wait, he dislikes green? No. Oh, he dislikes green eyes on other Sims. I was like, hold up. It just says he dislikes the color blue. So, that is Aiden as a young adult. So now let's see Aiden as an adult and he's romantic, lazy, and still materialistic. So he's decided he's ready to settle down. So we'll say he wants to find his soulmate. He just doesn't want to work very hard at it and he still wants to have all the things. We're still keeping with the red theme. He does not like, I mean, he likes the color brown. All right, there's his workout, his sleepwear. Party, swimming, hot weather, and cold weather. All right, and then we have Aiden as an elder. Espina. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make them all brothers. It says household member, but we're going to make them all brothers. Wow, looking down here, they look so weird. Okay, it says something's wrong. I don't know why it won't let them, but we'll see what, what happens at the... Oh, no, it fixed it. Okay, here we go. Aw, look at him. I'm used to looking at his face so much today that looking at it old is sad. Let's see what we have. Oh, ambitious kleptomaniac and a bookworm. Maybe as an old person, he, uh, he kind of forgot what's right or wrong. <laughs> We're just going to say he wants to know all the things. So Renaissance Sim is what he's going to be. He does not like the color white. Okay, here is our old guy, Aiden. He has just things that I thought would be comfy for him to wear. And there we go. That is all of Aiden. And I'm going to place them in the world, and then we will build their house. So I think I can't really decide where I'm going to put them yet. All right, I've decided to put them here in... I forgot what this place is called. I was thinking that the the air quality being bad could have created something like this with the clones. Because <laughs> technically that's what they are. So um, that's where this clone family is going to live. 
Oh my gosh, it's so funny, especially the adult and the young adult, and even the teen, they just look so, so exactly the same, which of course they should. But anyway, this is where I'm going to build their house here in Evergreen Harbor. And I'm going to say that something happened with the pollution and maybe there was an experiment happening in one of the industrial sites and we have clones now. So I'll make their house and then we'll go on a tour of the house. Okay, so it has taken me like a two days and I don't have the landscaping done on the outside of this house. So I'm going to load this up to the gallery and you guys are welcome to do your own twist on it and make my house better and then I will put it on here. And what I mean by better is you'll see as we go through and do the tour, but I have put six people in a house with one small bathroom. And I did not even discover that that's what I had done until I was at the very end just now. So I am not going back through this house and putting a bathroom. However, if you guys would like to, I'm going to give us a little bit more money. I don't know if it gives you all that money either when I upload it, but I'm about to upload it to the gallery, Sprucewood Square, but I'm going to call it... Um, one age, six Sims. One Sim, six ages, right? Y'all, now I gotta go look at what it's called. Oh, one Sim, different ages. Okay, that's what I'm gonna call it. And then I've got to do this on it right here. Right now it has five bedrooms and one bathroom. Oh my gosh. So anyway, here's what I'm saying is that I would like for you to do whatever. Yes, it is modded. There are decorations, which you'll see when I go through and do it. There are decorations in here that are mods. But as far as like the basic stuff, it's not. I love the way it looks in this picture with the clock tower behind it. That's a nice shot. Okay. And you'll be able to see it in just a second as we go through. Okay, here we go. Loading it to the gallery. So as I was saying, if you don't want to redo the house or do anything to the house, you could landscape it and give it some landscaping. But anyway, let's go through and take a tour. This laminate or this wood, whatever it is on the porches, I don't know why it's like that. It does say it's fire resistant. So this is what it says. It's forest firewood over here. Forest fine wood. Low fire resistance and one eco footprint green. So anyway, here is as we're walking up to the house, to the porch area. I did more windows than I've ever done on a build before. Okay, we come through the glass doors and we have like a big entryway with a runner in here and carpeted flooring I did some potted plants and jackets and stuff like that this area is open right into the kitchen where we have this space I added some shelves up there I did a little back backsplash area and that is a half wall which you'll see that leads over into the stairs on the other side but this is just our small kitchen we have a refrigerator trash can all the stove stuff, and then just stuff I put around through the kitchen. I mean, in the kitchen, once you're inside here, there is a little doorway that leads to our washer and dryer and our laundry area. I wanted, I cannot find the laundry clutter that I usually put in a laundry room. I was going to put the shelf right here, and I'm guessing that maybe I didn't add that CC in. Anyway, so back out into this room we across the hall is the living and dining area yes six sims lives here and i gave them that table to eat at but anyway they have a large screen tv and a gaming console in here <laughs> so this is the living room just this small uh, space right here and one of our people is an elder so his bedroom is right here the only one downstairs belongs to the elder it's pretty plain he just has a bedroom this is his closet which clearly i forgot to put a dresser in but he has a little closet space in his room and next door to him is what ends up being the only bathroom in this house and so oh my gosh i didn't even put a mirror in here y'all i'm the worst builder 
Now that I go through it like this, I can see everything I missed. Anyway, when you come in the front door, there is a little area here that leads to an office room with a bookshelf, a little seating area in here. This goes, as you saw before, right into the kitchen. Why can't we see anything in the kitchen? Whoa, that's the refrigerator. Maybe if I go this way. Nope, it still disappears when I go over the wall. So anyway, this is the little office area. Okay, so from this little office space area, we go upstairs. I did a three-turn stair stairway, which I've never done. Like, <laughs> anyway, and they have a little workout space right here. Just these two pieces of equipment with their mirror right here, a big mirror. And then it's an open area all the way out to the balcony. And the front balcony out here literally just has a telescope over there and some paint supplies and stuff over here. So that's what we have for out on the balcony. So we can put tons more stuff on there. Now, if we're going to start, we just did the elder. So our next oldest person is the adult. And this is his room. So he's got just the bed and some cluttery things, not much, but he started playing the guitar as he's gotten older. And so he's got that in his room and then just a few things on his bedside tables. And that is his room. Then across the hall is the young adult who still has some posters. He's got kind of a large um, bureau dresser in here, a couple of plants, and he has a desk with a computer in here in his room and the next oldest is the teenager who is in this room so definitely a teenage space I tried to add more clutter and more things like that around more posters on the walls and there's his bed and he's got junk on his shelves and there's his clothes then the kid and the toddler share this room here. So the kid is on the top bunk, the child, and the toddler is on the bottom. Here's a little computer space area for the child. And then the toddler's got this whole play space right here. And there's a bookshelf over here. And then just coloring pages and clutter around on their desk. And that is everything in this room. So again... I have these six people living in a house with one bathroom because I did not do a good job of that. But that is it. That is going to do it for both of the 100 Day Creativities. We made a zombie and we made this one. Six Sims. Nope. One Sim. Different ages is what this one is. So next month we will have two more of these 100 day creativities. If you want to follow along or if you want to jump ahead and do more of these, you are welcome to do that. I am going to be going in order. So feel free to look at what three and four are or you can go go down and, and randomly pick one if you want to start down there. But that is going to do it. I'm keeping them all in this world. So this save file is done for now. Don't forget if you want to get this house and fix it up or either one of them. If you would like to do the zombie house because I feel like I'm just learning and I'm not doing any of the extras yet. And I know that like when I watch Aiden and Devin Bumpkin on that channel, he always does the landscaping and everything around it. And then he always saves the decorating and everything for the inside like for the end. So I don't know if that would work better for me if I would just get because I got really tired working on this. The decision fatigue that I have when I build is outrageous. And so I would maybe I would do better to do it that way that he does it instead of the way that I did it this time. So maybe I'll try that on the next one that we do. But this was a lot of fun. I can't wait to have this whole world, like all the worlds built out with a 100 things, 100 sims and builds that I have made and, and see what the difference is in the episode 50 as opposed to episode one right now. So that is it. You guys let me know any tips or tricks that you have about building or let me know some of your favorite builders that you like to watch. I already mentioned Aiden. I love watching the Devin Bumpkin videos. I love the way he builds. I love ch him chatting while he's building. But if there are any other builders that you guys like to watch, I would love to hear about it. And that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching.
watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.